So here it is guys, two brand new Stetson Force Extreme amplifiers. These are high voltage amplifiers. They will run up to 440 volts. They will do up to 195,000 watts. 440 volts going in, up to almost 200,000 watts coming out. These are the, the big speaker outputs. Those two will be replacing my Force Extreme amplifier, which is rated at 112,000 watts. Also 440 volts capable. Right now I'm feeding 400 volts from my traction battery. I'm putting out about 40,000 watts. I have it limited via the gain so I don't blow my subs. Definitely will not be using all of this power, but these things will be basically idling even when I'm feeding my car with all of the power it can take. So looking forward to getting these guys hooked up. Right guys, so here's the internal of the Force Extreme. Again, up to 440 volts and up to 195,000 watts. We can see here the components, 400 volt components, just like the Forsum, uh, Force 1 that I'm using. And we could see just how massive these IGBTs are. 400 volt IGBTs. You can see it compared to my finger. These things are just freaking massive. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20 IGBTs. All right. So we see here we have these are our IRGP4066Ds. All right, guys. So here's the data sheet for the 4066D IGBT that the amplifier uses. You can see here the nominal current is 75 amps. You could even have continuous current of 140 amps at 600 volts. So let's go with the nominal here and do some math. We have 75 amps at 400 volts. That's what I'm running my system at. That's 30,000 watts per IGBT here. And we have 10 of them in the amplifier. So the amplifier is technically capable of 300,000 watts. Of course, it's rated much lower than that for safety reasons and because we're not gonna be running it at, at that throughput the whole time, right, for the, for the life of the amplifier. So anybody doubting these high voltage amplifiers and what they could do, Again, from a technical perspective, with the IGBTs they use, we can easily push just hundreds of thousands of watts.